Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will design, we will model differential protection relay and this model will be step by step. So before start of this video, it's a kind request to you, please subscribe to my channel for further video and press the notification button. So let's get started. Go to the library browser and write down three phase source, click, right click, place to your directory place it here after that write down breaker and take a three phase breaker right click click ok place it here after that write down vi block that will measure your voltage and current just place it here after that take a three phase transformer three phase two winding transformer this one right click and place it here okay after that again pick your vi measurement block or you can just copy from the previous one and place it here okay is this done again take a breaker it's a circuit breaker three phase circuit place it here Okay, after that, write RLC load, sorry, RLC load and click OK and this click and paste three phase series RLC load. Place it here, press Ctrl R to rotate it. Okay, for the fault block, how to you will generate, just take three phase fault, click OK and just take this one and also take a stair generator. My fault will be external fault and the fault will be generated with the help of stair generator okay just take it here one and just take it this there after that type dmux and place a dmux along with that a scope okay place it here and place it here okay now all these components are done just uh, quickly connect this connection okay double click on three phase source just change the frequency to 50 and the primary voltage keep it oh, sorry, keep it 11 kilo volt click on three phase breaker Initial state should be closed and the fault should be external. Click OK. Connect this with this three phase VI measurement block. After that, connect this with the transformer. Okay. Connect the secondary side with the VI three phase measurement block. After that, connect this with the in a, another breaker double click on it initial state should be closed the fault should be external click apply and ok and now connect this with your load ok this is done now connect this with the the three phase block connect with your voltages or the lines that will measure your take your voltage and current click on this double click on this change it to external click ok and just connect this stair generator with this one okay double click on this and change some values keep it 0 0.1 keep it 0 0.3 keep it 0 0.35 and the, all the parameters are the amplitude the fault amplitude should be 0 click apply click ok now this is done double click on this transformer do not change anything on this side and the, this side change some values the MVA rating is 250 megawatt and your frequency should be 50 the primary side current is the primary side voltage is 11 kilovolt while the secondary side I keep it 33 kilovolt it's a step up transformer with a gain of 3 the rest of parameters I keep it as it is click ok right for the load just change its frequency to 
50. Okay, now this is done. Now click on the scope, double click, go to view, configuration, keep it 3, layout, apply, okay. okay. Double click on the DMOX, keep it 3, just connect this. Now just copy this one and paste it here. Again, paste here and here okay connect this one with your voltage and this one with your current also this one with your voltage and this one with your current my simulate my connection is done now let's design the differential protection scheme for this so copy this dmux block initially paste it here and paste it below just increase its size uh, a little bit larger also increase the size of this DMUX okay after that connect the input one with this current and the input this with the this current oh okay after that go to the library browser and just type root mean square click OK and Pick this discrete RMS. It will be placed here. It placed. Just copy it and place it. Control V, Control V. Similarly, place it for the below bus bar. Okay, this this is done. Now go and pick again. Right click, place and just place it here and copy it and paste it three times. Okay, just connect this with this, this with this, this with this, this with this. Oh shit. This with this one, this with this one, this, this, and this. Keep the gain three for each gain. Why am I, why I'm keeping this three because my transformer gain is three, so I I will need to uh, give a gain of three at the output of my current of a transformer. After that, go and pick an add block. Right click, and place it over here. Here it is. Right. Just copy this and place it three times. Okay. Now done. The upper part is connected with the upper RMS and the lower one is connected with the gain. Similarly for the rest of these two some block as well. Okay, after that find the absolute absolute block. Just write down AAPS and just place it. Copy this and paste three times. Connect the output of sum with the absolute block. Okay. After that, again go to the library browser and place the relation operator by going to the logic operation and pick the relation operator. Right click. Sorry, this not this one. The relational operator, this one. Okay. Double click on this and make it greater just greater only copy this and paste it three times okay connect this one the upper one with the each and just pick a constant here it is place and place it here connect the a relation operator second input with this constant why it's not connected it should be connected like this ah, okay connect this one also with this now let's change its conditions okay now done double click on this and make it two because i want to keep my input value of two right just click okay after that 
go to the sr flip flop set sr just run down sr and place the sr flip flop okay just copy this and paste it three times Okay, done. Connect the S with the relational operator of each output. Copy this constant and paste it here. Connect the R with the constant block of each SR flip flop. Double click on this and keep it zero. And make sure to con convert this to the Boolean. Oh shit. Just convert it to Boolean. Apply. Okay. So after that, Pick a logic operator, the AND one. Keep it over here and just increase its size. Double click on this, keep it 3 because I will take 3 inputs. Connect Q, all the Q with this one. Now just take a terminator because we do not need to use the Q bar of SR flip flop. Oh shit why it's not copying break okay can copy this and press two times one for this one and one for this one okay all done now after that the output of this end is in boolean form so convert this to another type i will need uh, data type conversion so just write down data type and pick the data type conversion block okay place it here and double click on this convert this to the double click apply click ok now take its output and connect it with the both circuit breakers done similarly for the second circuit breaker as well it's connected like this okay just keep it above though make sure you you make your circuit diagram neat and clean okay just need to make the subsystem of this one so select the area where you want to make the subsystem because it will then become a very small unit press ctrl g your subsystem is created just rotate this press ctrl r okay now arrange all your okay all these are done now just increase its size just rearrange your wires so that it it is visible in a single line okay now my circuit is done okay run this simulator for 0.9 second it will take very small time okay before that make sure that you put power j otherwise your simulation will not work power j ui here it is and double click on this changes to discrete and change its value to 5 e power minus 9 click ok now run this simulation your simulation now should be sim your simulation should run it fine and it will take very short time so please stay tuned for this simulation is done now just click on your currents voltages the voltages are in phase and these all have 120 degree of watt similarly from for primary and for secondary as well if i this was the case when we haven't generated any fault. Now I want to generate a fault by using stair generator and I gave it a value of 1. 
the fault will start from 0.1 second and will terminate at a time of 0.3 seconds automatically. Run this again. It is uh, simulated. Done. Double click on this. Here it can be seen that the fault current fault voltage value is for start from 0.1 to 0.3 and it is uh, generated in three phase. This was the primary side and this is my secondary side. So if you want to change the amplitude to another value, for example, make it 200, click apply, your value will become different now this time. Let's wait for some time. Double click on this, here it is. Your value is different now in this time. So this was a video that how you will simulate and how you will model differential protection in simulating. So Take care for the next video. That was enough for today video. So please, if you haven't so subscribe to my channel, it's a kind request to you. Do subscribe to my channel and press the like and subscribe button. Thank you so much.